Thanks for stopping by. Today, I'm going to show you how to change your tub drain. This job can be a little intimidating, but it's really not that big of a deal. The only thing I would say is don't try this on a Sunday because if something goes bad and you need a special plumbing part, you're not going to be able to get it at a regular hardware store. You're going to have to go to a supply house. Let's get to it. First thing you're going to want to do is take the stopper off. Some of them just unscrew like this one does and other ones you might have to take a screwdriver and stick it underneath or an allen screw and remove a little screw on the bottom and i'm changing this out because it's all corroded if you look down in there and you see a plastic pipe on the inside that's usually a good sign because you're not going to have an issue with rust or corrosion trying to take it apart the best way to try and take these apart is with a tool that's specifically designed for it. It's got the little cross on the end. It's usually two different sizes. And you stick this in there and take it loose. This thing's about 10 bucks. It's probably worth it if you don't have one if you're going to take on this job. You could also take your channel locks and open them up to the widest point and stick it in the drain and hopefully it'll catch on the cross in there and then you could put another wrench on there. You could also try a pair of duckbill pliers, not needle nose, but duckbill pliers. Put them in there, they'll grab, but the handles are pretty far apart to try and grab them both. Or you could try one of these crazy universal tools. I don't even know where this thing came from, but that'll also somewhat go in there. But this is the best way to go. Stick it in there, give it a little twist so it's catching, and then you put a wrench on it. When you're turning this, the wrench is going to want to kind of push this thing in an angle, so you want to put your hand on the top and hold it straight while you use the wrench to unscrew it. And you should know pretty quickly if it's going to unscrew. It looks like this one's coming right off. And then just unscrew it. Once you get the old one off, you want to do your best to clean all this old plumber's putty and crud off of here and try and avoid getting any of it down into the drain. Here's the new one and it comes with an adapter for different size pipes. So this could screw into the pipe and then this screws into here. Looks like the old one stayed in there. There was already an adapter there. You also have this rubber gasket. It does not go up against the drain. It goes between the pipe and the tub. If you have access from the back side, that's great. If you don't, you can wiggle it out of there. Not sure what I'm going to do here. I'm lucky enough this adapter is unscrewing, so I'm going to take this out to make it easier to change that rubber gasket. Could see here on the new one there's little teeth that you can use a screwdriver or something else to catch on to it to unscrew it now i'm going to get that rubber gasket out and replace it old gasket that I just took out is a lot thicker than the new one. It's up to you to decide what you want to do. If your old gasket is in pretty good shape, you could goop it up and put it back in. Um, there's enough flexibility in the pipe here. I'm going to go with the new one because it's going to be hard for you to see here, but it has these ridges and I think that's going to be a little bit better as far as keeping it from leaking. So I'm going to put the new one in. I like to use PTFE paste when I put plumbing back together. It's a little disgusting, it's all gooey and it's hard to clean up, but once you get everything back together, you're much less likely to have a leak if you use this stuff. So I'm gonna put this on both sides of this rubber gasket. Now you wanna take this gooed up thing and slide it back in there. It 
center it as best you can and then you can take it back out because you forgot to put the new adapter in putting a little bit of this on the threads this isn't really to stop it from leaking because this is inside the pipe this is just going to help it slide together a little bit easier and I'll put a little bit on the inside threads for when I put the drain in and when you put it in make sure the teeth are up in case it ever has to come apart again and don't try forcing this in you may have to mess with it a little bit to get it to start and then screw it down have that threaded in far enough you want that so it's kind of flush with the top of the pipe so it's not going to interfere with your rubber gasket and I could slide this back in there now you want to take some plumbers putty and roll it out so you can wrap it around your new drain and you just want to take it and wrap it around the drain kind of like this that's probably a little bit much but doesn't matter it's going to squeeze out so you take your new drain and get it in place and start screwing it in again don't force this you don't want to screw up those threads it should go in fairly easily and once it gets started you can use your tool to snug it up and as you tighten this up the plumber's putty is going to squeeze out and it's also going to pull that rubber gasket up tight from the bottom and this thing doesn't fit very well on here and this side's too big maybe this crazy universal tool will work Neither one of them fit. I guess I'm going with this. That doesn't fit either. Well, back to my trusty duckbill pliers. These things have never let me down. And you shouldn't have to put a wrench on it to tighten it back up. Because you don't need this thing to be super tight. You just want it so it's somewhat flush to the tub and you get plumber's putty squeezing out all the way around so you're not going to have a leak get everything snugged up clean up your excess plumber's putty and then you can screw your stopper in this one just screws right in